Hi, I'm Jenna with Portrait of a Fangirl Podcast, and I'm here today at San Diego Comic-Con at the Pop Yourself Experience with Bianca Kalingo. Hi, Bianca. How are you today? Hi, I'm doing great. Day one. Day Day one, and I'm sure it's going to be a busy one, right? Yeah, for sure, especially here at Funko. Is this your first San Diego Comic-Con doing this sort of experience? Uh, This is definitely our first Comic-Con doing Pop Yourself here for the fans, but it's my, I want to say, ninth Comic-Con uh, in a row, which is crazy. <laughs> wow. And have you, has this been with Funko, nine years in a row with Funko? Uh, I would say, I think it's seven years with Funko, yeah, and then two years with a, a previous job, but yeah, it's been really great. Wow. And now this year you are, as you mentioned, doing the Wolverine and Deadpool Pop Yourself experience here at Funko. So can you just tell me a little bit about that and what the guests here can expect? Sure. So we launched Pop Yourself last year. Fans can take themselves or their loved ones and turn them into a pop character. And what's really exciting is this year we have a booth where you can make yourself cosplaying as Deadpool or Wolverine. It comes with a few exclusive pieces that you can only get here at Comic-Con and a special box as well. But the fans at home can also take part in the celebration and order attach packs online on Funko.com. So the only ones that they can't get are the, is it the dog? It's the TVA temp pad, and there's a lanyard as well, just to signify that you're at the convention, and then the special box. And now, can you tell me a little bit about the whole Pop Yourself experience in general, all the the new Pop Yourself that you're offering um, at Funko? Sure. So a few years ago on Funko.com, we had the Pop Yourself avatar maker, and we saw how many people loved turning themselves into a pop figure you know they collect all their favorite fandoms what better way to celebrate that than turning yourself into a pop figure so it's been super well received by fans and we're always listening to what they want different fandoms different accessories they want to see and trying to bring that to the to the collection that we're offering I know there are quite a few accessories. I've myself checked out the website and it's really cool. I know you have like different types of foods and different accessories that are like electronics. Are there any plans to expand the amount of accessories and extras that are available? Absolutely. We're constantly evolving our core offering, but also with holidays coming up, we have you know, Halloween costumes, we have seasonal things just in time for uh, the holidays, and we're even celebrating things like uh, Mother's Day, Father's Day, graduations, and everyday celebrations. That's so much fun. Can you just tell me a little bit about how the collaboration with Deadpool and Wolverine came about? Sure. So obviously we knew that Deadpool and Wolverine was going to be a huge movie, a fan favorite, and all the stars aligned, I think, for this collaboration. It was San Diego Comic-Con weekend. The movie was coming out this week. And, you know, Deadpool is such a fun franchise to work with, very playful. And we knew that it would be a fun way to bring not only Deadpool, but Wolverine to life in a cosplay environment. What is your personal favorite customization to do? Ooh, I have like five different versions that I've made of myself. I would say besides this one, of course, where I have become a cosplay of Deadpool. um, Earlier this year, we did a collab with Dunkin' Donuts and we did Dunkings after the uh, Super Bowl commercial, which was really fun. And, you know, I'm holding an iced coffee and it's just a really fun outfit that uh, we, we brought to life a few months ago. Do you have any future collaborations in the works? I mean, we're always listening to the social conversation and what fans want. So you can imagine we have quite a few things up our sleeve. So fans will have to stay tuned. And where can fans go to make their own Deadpool and Wolverine customized pop? So uh, for fans at home, they can go on Funko.com and go through the Pop Yourself experience. And then there will be a pop-up that asks do you want to cosplay as Deadpool or Wolverine? And uh, that will be available uh, while supplies last. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the time you've taken today. Thank you so much.